This is a short video just explaining and showing how to install the cot teething rail. First of all, you make sure it's the correct length for your cot. You may need to cut it down for any shorter cots, which if you just mark the spot, flatten it out, and then trim it. Once that's done, just sit it on the cot and you need to mark where you're going to put the straps. Just make a simple mark underneath. Next, you just clean with rubbing alcohol the area that the straps are going to sit on and this gives it the best bond possible with the adhesive. It gets rid of all the oil or anything that may stop the adhesive sticking well. While that's drying, you cut your straps to the correct length so that they sit nicely underneath the cot teething rail. To do that, you just wrap it around and then trim the strap. So to show you this way, it'll be wrapped around and it fits comfortably up to the top of the rail. Then cut the other straps to the same length. Once that's done, you've got the marks on the teething rail where you need the strap. You pull the back of the adhesive cover off and you centre it on the teething rail and then push it down. It's best to leave the straps on once you've given them a good firm push down for around 24 hours for the best bond. And you have all the straps put the same way so that the bottom soft velcro is all at one side.
Okay, and once that's done, you can put it on your rail and you put it with the soft Velcro side on the inside because then it's harder for the toddler or baby to remove and this side you just simply pull up when you want to take it off. So then you go along, you put it firmly up there, hold that part, squash it down and you go along and do that with each spot. and then just push it all firmly down and it's all installed. Of course the other option if you do have a stronger toddler that can get at the rail we also have over the top straps which simply attach by going around the rail. The silver part is always on the outside of the rail. You double over the part that's going to go into the attachment. You open it Slip it into there and clip it down and then that gives it a very firm attachment and it also can't be pulled off. And that's the end of the video.